Parents get a first-hand look tonight at new security upgrades at Erie High School. This coming three weeks after a student allegedly shot another student inside that building. The question tonight, do parents feel better about their kids going back to the classroom? Brian Wilk joins us now in the control room with that. Brian? Sean, when those students do return to in-person learning, there'll be a number of new security upgrades. The open house for Erie High School parents showed off the school's new metal detectors, procedures, and policies put in place three weeks after a school shooting. All right, this is so important uh, because the families need to know what their students are going to be walking back into, and they, they need to feel secure and, and trust us in knowing that they are sending their students back to a safe and orderly school environment. Some parents we talked to say the school should have always had metal detectors. Now, it had to take something like this to get them back in. And I said, if anything happened to my sons, that I would get a lawyer and sue the school district. The school district wasn't letting cameras inside for the open house, but we do know the district gave parents a presentation before allowing them a closer look inside the classrooms. Another parent says the open house was very informative. They went over all the safety um, things that they've changed and put into place um, with like metal detectors and the different door locks on the classrooms and um, different things that they've done to improve, the, again, the safety for the kids. Bittner adding, the meeting put her mind at ease. Uh, if anything was to happen in the future, they'd be safe. Now, seniors will be returning to the building on Tuesday, May 3rd, juniors May 4th, sophomores on May 5th, and freshmen will be returning to the building on May 6th. Sean? Uh, Brian Wilk in the control room tonight. Thanks, Brian.